the fifth question of this week. Oh, no, she's personally cut half a rainforest. She's got Fraser riding her. This is all preemptive, making sure there's no loose ends, no excuses for him. Hey, uh, how was your date with Crispy? Oh, well, look, there's no uh, deep and meaningfuls with Crispy, but he likes me and he loves a sweet motor. He helped me tune the rocket. <laughs> That's a date. Yeah, it's a date. And the best thing about him is I give him a beer, send him on his way, and he doesn't complain. That's how I like it, uncomplicated. OK, morning. Hey, I've been through your jests. Hmm? Job evaluation skills test. Jordan, first question. What equipment would help you in your job? You answered a pair of wings. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan, you want Fraser to disband us, roll us in with the fireys and the cops? Well, I don't think Heidi would mind. I think she's already rolling in with the fireys. We got people stuck on a Ferris wheel at the fun park. No injuries yet. Okay, go. I oh, think you make an excellent brew. Oh, it's all in the machine, baby. Oh, stop it. Hey, Dad. Oh, mate, first ride of the day, she just stopped. Followed standard operating procedure. Wouldn't restart, so I called you guys. No idea what caused it? Nah, mate. Call the engineer when he gets here. Yeah, we can't wait for him. What's the plan? Well, we'll start with the people at the top and work our way down. Jordan, set up some vertical gear. Okay. So let me get this straight. Yeah. Pre-marriage counselling. Yes. Supposing Hamish rates spending time with my family a one and I rated a seven, well, then obviously there's a problem there that needs to be addressed. You're getting married. Don't you already know all this stuff? We might think we do, but this is just insurance. You know, make sure we're on the same page. Right. Right? <laughs> this is going to look so cool on Facebook. Won't be long, madam. We'll get you out. Can anyone tell me what's happening? We'll be with you soon, madam. 
do what you have to. Hi, girls. Hi. How are you doing? Thank you. Are you okay? I'm just going to get this set up, and then I'm going to pop a harness on both of you. We're going to take a slow ride down, right? We don't want to come down yet. We like it here. Girls, you're going to have to come down, OK? You can't make us. <laughs> Pretty good view up here, guys. Awesome. All right. Have you had this in a flash? Last time you said that, I was in my bikini. <laughs> Nicole. Wow, you, uh, you look great. Thanks. So, so does this mean you get, like, free tickets to the rides or something? So how long's it been, huh? Oh. Touch over nine years. Nine years. This is James. My nephew. Ah. James, you ready for a ride, huh? Sure. All right, I'll get you to step into this. Get those past your legs are there. Last I heard you were uh, you're overseas. Yeah, it was fun for a while. How's your dad? Never better. Sly up dog's got himself another girlfriend. You? Still single. That's it, mate. Just one step at a time. How much longer? We'll be with you as soon as we can. No, I need to get out of here. It's all right. You're perfectly safe. I'm calling my brother and telling him nobody is helping me. Even more resources will be committed to apprehending the taser rapist who has struck four times in the last fortnight. Police have released this sketch of a suspect, a bald man of medium build, around 30 years of age. All right, thanks. You wouldn't believe it. A little woman stuck on the ride whose brother is the head of news. <sighs> oh, no. I'm going to get down there. Oh, see ya. Heidi Ho, see if the engineer's arrived and when he can get that wheel moving. Get me out! No! God, stand it! You're next, OK? Oh my god, we're on TV! Oh, look, oh look! Hi! I'm out! No! No, sit down, just sit back down, please. Get me out! No! My name's Chase, I'm with Rescue. You're gonna be okay, just stay calm. Ah! 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 What's that knee? What's that knee? Ah! It's got a 100% safety record. I checked this machine myself three days ago. Right. Lots of grease. Grease is the word. I love machinery. So the shaft drives the power which turns the gears? Yes. Uh-huh. Is that a sweater? That's a funny place for strip poker. Yeah, looks like sabotage. Some moron with nothing better to do. Tell your people we'll give her a go. Righto. All units, this is Heidi. We're going to see if we can get the wheel working. Over. Rescue one, that's OK with me. Rescue two. Yeah, we're more than ready up here. Rescue three, copy. No problems. Go for it. Ronnie, try it now. <coughs> wait, wait a sec. Ronnie, stop! There's someone there. Heidi, I'm with Rescue. Can you tell me missing a herd? Is there anything broken? Please. Yes? All units, I've got an unconscious patient in the motor room. I need assistance here. Oh, On my way. way. I'll leave you guys to your fans. <laughs> what? All righty, James, hang on tight. You ready? Yeah. I'll be back for you. Something else I've heard before? That's good. Got an ID. Right here. Becky Stevenson, she's 25. Becky, can you hear me? Becky, can you hear me? Any idea what happened? She's got blood on the back of her head. She could have fallen, gotten disorientated. It could be a bleed on the brain. So 
sorry, Becky. I'll get that back for you. Oh, God. Look. I think these are from a taser. All right, watch your feet. You should be there. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> What's the story there? First love. Only woman ever to get to knitting. Hey, Nick. Little Chase? Stick around if you can. Chase, bring the rest of the people down. Yep. Hey, guys, we're going to have to cut around a bit. It's too tight for a stretcher. Okay. It might be easier to cut the back away. Yeah, copy that. The BP's 190 over 100. Heart rate is 120, getting tacky at 130. Guys, you better hurry. Becky, can you hear me? Stay with me, Becky. Let's stay clear, Lara. Left pupil's not reacting. This looks like a brain bleed. Fire blanket. What are you doing here? I'm on the Taser Rape Task Force, which you would know if you'd return my calls. How's the girl? Touch and go. Just stay behind this point. She's crashed. Preparing to shock. Stand back. Shocking now. Nothing. Preparing to shock. Shocking. Nothing. They're into shock. Shocking now. Still nothing. Come on, hang in there, Becky. Shocking. Yeah, she's back. Let's get her out of here. Hurry, guys! Here we go! Ready? Safe now, Becky. She conscious? No. Nancy Taser, all right? Did she say anything? Barely a word. Okay, I'll need a statement before you go. Yeah. Who is the woman? Is she alive? She's in a critical condition. My team did a great job under difficult circumstances. I can't say any more than that. You'll be briefed in due course. Okay, thank you for your understanding. What's going on with us? I think I have the right to ask you that, don't you? The deviled oysters, champagne, cheap blonde. You never said this was an exclusive thing. I didn't think I had to. <laughs> These are our big hydraulics. Want to have a look? OK. Well, not the best of circumstances, but it was great to see you. Likewise. You ever think we made the wrong decision back then? Uh, Nick, I think we were probably too young to get too serious. Oh, that's, that's what you felt, right? That's what I felt you thought. Anyway, take care, Dan. Come on. Thanks, Chase. See you, James. Bye. No, she didn't say anything about her attacker, just please. Do you think she was raped? We don't know. But it looks like he tried to kill her. This guy could be escalating. I'm heading back. See you at the office. Actually, we're done. So have you got any leads or anything? Yeah, we're watching somebody. Thanks, Heidi. Shit. Are you with the police? No, I'm Heidi Wilson. I'm with Rescue. 
Were you one of the people who found Becky? I'm her husband, Carl. Oh. I'm sorry. I just came from the hospital. How is she? She hasn't regained consciousness. Just had to see this place. Just had to. Oh, this uh, broke off when we were trying to get her out. I was worried someone was going to steal it. I gave her this on our second anniversary. Police uh, think she was a victim of that rapist. Yeah, I heard. I'm sorry. They spoke to you? Well, I found her. She, she couldn't give any description? No. no. If she had a chance, she would have fought. That's good. That's a will to survive. That's really important. Are you okay? I mean, do you want a coffee? I've got a thermos and a patrol. I... Thanks. I need to get back to the hospital. I said they'd call. But... Um, I hope it all turns out. Actually, could I take you up on that offer? I don't know anybody. I could do with some company. Sure. So, Nicole, eh? It's like fate knocking on your door. Fate will knock on your head shortly if you don't leave it alone. Very touchy about Nicole. Why do you care? Why do you? Biggest mistake you made dumping her? It was mutual. <laughs> and you thought you'd score a dozen more just like it. All right, Chase, you just change the blade on your partner saw. I'm going to clean the air shores. Leave it at that. Look, she turns up back in your life and you barely move a muscle. It's your modus operandi. Speaking of which, Dad's tonight, it's your turn to buy the grog. Uh, I don't think so. I just placed his radiator. Yeah, I bought him a TV. You bought him a TV, Chase, because you live there. And besides, Dad doesn't need a TV. He's got Fiona. What's this about your old squeeze turning up on the Ferris wheel? Must have been Lara. Two people meeting up again like that? Mate, that's fate. <laughs> no change still. Well, it's a great medical staff there. I forgot to mention it's soy. Really? Mm. I always drink soy. Most people look like I just asked for smoked hyena, but... Same. Becky's the worst. She's really, um... She's a made in potato girl. Been together long? Five years. Married three. We're from Darwin. Are you married? I'm sorry, that's, that's none of my business. Oh, no, that's OK. Um, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm single. I was the most single single until I met Becky. It's funny, I, uh, I just can't imagine not being with her. This is my fault. No, it's not. We had a, a row. She's always on the phone to her sister in Darwin and I made a big deal about it and Becky up and stormed off. Everyone has arguments, Carl. This is not your fault. Look, have you got anyone, uh, friends or family, who can stay with you? It's me and Sadie. The goldfish. I had a Sadie once. Budgie. <laughs> good to have somebody to talk to. It's OK. Look, the police won't tell me anything about this suspect. If you should happen to hear a name, oh, I'd like to pay him a visit, give him what he deserves. Look, Carl, I understand what you're going through. I do. But you've just got to be there for Becky. Two years of self-defense, right? Karate, 
Kaibo, Capoeira, or mean zip if some dickless wonder tases you. You don't even stand a chance. It's absolutely pointless. Ugh. Look, you can't control everything. You're doing your job, okay? Yeah, I'm standing there telling Carl Stevenson he shouldn't want revenge. Who am I kidding? You put me in a room with that coward without his taser and I'd rip his balls off. Ava, hi. Yeah, thanks for getting back to me. Look, I had a rescue today, Becky Stevenson. Do you know how she's going? Right, and what did the new, I reckon? Okay, thanks, mate. Bye. It's my mate and I see you. Becky's still in a coma and operating's too dangerous. Hey, listen, uh, me and a couple of mates, we're gonna go to the noodle bar, grab a bite. You wanna join us? Oh, thanks. I think I'm just gonna get home. Well, um, take care, huh? And he's still out there. Yeah. Whoa, hey, whoa, that's enough of that. Gotta eat. Yeah. We went halves. We had no expense. You got any beer? Hey. Hey. Nicole, welcome. Come here. Hey. <laughs> you didn't know I was coming, did you? No. Hey. Hi. Fiona. Nice to meet you. Thanks. Well, I thought Chase might have mentioned something to you. Must have slipped his incredibly tiny mind. I gotta say, this is what I miss most about home. Bad luck, mate. You come second to a grilled chop. <laughs> So you and him, what's the story? Uh, Nicole used to race against us in the skiffs. I used to win. That's no, true. That's no, because she didn't have Chase slowing her down. Oh. Then Dean invited me over on the pretext of fixing his boat. Yeah, and they used to get up to it in Dean's bedroom to think I didn't know. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> so you don't have a boyfriend at the moment? Position vacant. I'm dreaming, and this is going to sound crazy, but in the dream, I'm still with you, and it feels real. Not that crazy. You too? So maybe fate's trying to tell us something. Fate, huh? Yeah. You believe in all that? I'm still here, much as I like Shane's marinated short loins. <laughs> so how about it? Giving it a real shot? Jeez, Nick, it's a pretty big risk. Mm -hmm. I mean, you and I, this... You know, working as friends right now, yeah? Mm, I want friends. I can do Facebook. If you're anything like me, you use what we had as an excuse for why every other relationship fails. Hmm. So you and me, huh? Do you want to go through life telling ourselves that we let the real one get away? <laughs> Jeez, there's no half measures with us, is there? Well, we run a spinnaker in a gale. It's a risk. <laughs> but what a ride. <laughs> it seems eight boxes of masks are unaccounted for. Yeah, we got plenty. Don't worry about it. Hey, I've got to deal with head office. <laughs> head office wouldn't know if a plague hit town. Vince? You really don't want to know about yes, it? Yes, I really want to know about it. 
Rescue special operations. You OK? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Right, are you mob, multiple MVA, Richmond Street, giddy up. Hang in there, mate. Jordan, Heidi, going to Blue Commodore. Looks like the Hyundai. Lara. That's the rapist. The cops served him with a warrant. He took off from a red light. Please. I'm trapped. I'm trapped. Come on, mate. We're going to get you out, OK? Move your arms and legs. <laughs> Hang in there, buddy. <laughs> Heidi, 12 gauge! We need to decompress, Heidi! Heidi, we need to decompress! Bring me the 12 gauge! I heard you wanted to see me. I um, heard you and Heidi had some set to at the rescue. Set to? Who said that? Oh, it's just what I heard. It sounded like she choked and you guys had words? No. So you weren't shouting at her? No, I mean, you know what those bloody auto three ways are like. Okay, that's it. You have an incident report sheet? In my folder. On a scale of one through five, how angry would you be that your partner was unfaithful? Hey, hey, hey. Dean, give that back to me. You're not supposed to be reading his answers, though. Yes. I picked it up by mistake. And you haven't read it? No, of course not. OK. Well, it's kind of weird that he only rates infidelity to two, but... Hey, you're off the hook. I told Michelle that you couldn't hear me through all the noise. Thanks. Listen, we can't choose who lives and dies. Yeah? You saw what that animal did to her. He enjoyed it. Jordan, he enjoyed it and he left her for dead. Look, even if he did, we can't make that call. Why can't we choose who we save? Because we just can't. <sighs> Look, this job, OK, it makes us face things that other people can't. But we've all been through it. you just got to put today behind you and get on with the job. Well, I don't think I can. Well, then you're in the wrong line of work. Nicole yet? Just because you've been engaged three times this year. Twice. Almost. Did you know Nicole was the first chick I ever saw naked? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> it was your room 
I was about 13. I was hiding in the cupboard. I was going to jump out and water bomb you, but instead she came in and slipped her gear off. You little pervert. <laughs> Whack it on the pool table, mate. You haven't seen our espresso machine, have you? Had to return it to the fireys. What? Well, that's the thing I was trying to explain before. Last year, the fireys saved an electrical shop from burning down. The owner gave them a bunch of coffee machines as a thank you. But stores never gives them enough masks. So we made a trade. I gave them back the coffee machine in return for the masks. You know, a sort of eye for an eye kind of thing. But I'll buy you one down the street. What are you? Mock it over Right. Too much noise, eh? Hmm? The MVA. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, Heidi, I know how much this job takes it out of you, and I know how hard it is when it gets personal, but you have to remain fully focused. So if you need I'm some good. time off... I can do this, OK? OK. Michelle? Yeah. When you're ready, I've got those driver's logs you wanted. Fantastic. OK, thank you. I have a call from ICU. Mickey died an hour ago. There was nothing you can do, Heidi. Did Ava say anything about Carl? She said he'd gone home. If he finds out what they've done with the rapist, I don't know what he'll do. I'm gonna go around there. Heidi. What, Jordan? He's got no one, OK? He's got no friends, no family. Everyone's in Darwin. What am I supposed to do? I should at least have the balls to tell him that I helped save that son of a bitch. Carl? I heard about Becky. You OK? I got back from the hospital and went to get a glass of water and it slipped and smashed. Carl, do you have someone who can stay with you for a day or so? No. How can I face her family? Explain I drove her out of their house to be... Carl, I think it'd be really good if you could have someone here with you. For... <laughs> can you stay? I can for a little while, but I think you really need professional help. What am I going to do without her? You just sit here. I'm going to... I'll get us some tea. Buddy, how's it going? I'm at Carl's. I think he tried to harm himself. Maybe worse. He said he cut his hand on a glass, but there's no sign of any broken glass anywhere. I'm going to stay here for a while, but if Michelle asks, don't say anything, OK? Listen, you're getting too involved, mate. Jordan, I'm just asking you to cover for me. OK, fine. I've got to go. OK, bye. Yeah. I really appreciate you being here. Did you know that the police have a suspect in custody? No. They, they didn't tell me anything. My team had to respond to a car crash and I... I had to help keep one of the drivers alive. It was him. I'm sorry. Elizabeth, 
No, I'm afraid the news is bad. It's Peggy's mum. Oh, God, I hate plunger coffee. Yeah, me too. Well, you know, it's still not a good time. I can wait. Well, you might be waiting a long time. So what are you saying? We're over? I'm not looking for a part-time fling. Well, what if, you know, I'm prepared to make it full-time? Oh, you're prepared, are you? Like, you're doing me a favour. Yeah, Michelle. You know, you might have had a win today, Ian, but I'm still a little bit behind the eight ball, OK? Actually, everything's turned to shit. Murray, listen to the rape suspects in the clear. What? He's got a cast iron alibi for one of the rapes. Some crim mate lying for him? While Lister was trapped in the car, the rapist struck again. Fortunately, the woman's boyfriend arrived home. So they didn't get him? No, but at least they'll have some DNA to work with. The rapist had to break a window to get away. Are you sure this Murray Lister isn't the guy? I mean, maybe the latest one is a copycat. Highly unlikely. We never revealed it before, but the rapist kept trinkets from his victims. These guys like to keep them close to relieve the excitement of the crime. Lister's place is clean, so the real guy's still out there. What sort of trinkets? But he's not answering. But you told me Carl had cut himself. I gave her this on our second anniversary. Fine if I hadn't kept that locket. <laughs> Becky found it. She thought it was for her. And then she freaked. And she wouldn't listen to reason. She just didn't get it. <laughs> Five years together, and she was going to throw that away, go to the cops. You wouldn't do that, would you? Take it off, you die.
Should I even be asking what you've traded away this time? Oh, it's not a trade. It's a guilt gift. Top of the range, too. Must be a lot of guilt. Your mate, Detective Johnson, came with that. Oops. My advice? Don't even read it. didn't wait for me? Oh, I don't know. I think I've waited long enough. Yeah. Get it over. You really think this is going to make me feel better? Yep, I do. Special operation. It's the rescue. Dad! Just get me out of here, will you? That'll break their hearts. You'll bring the walls down. If I don't, he's going to drown. Can they save Come on! their dad? I'm oh, sorry. Rescue Special Ops. Next Sunday, 8.30. To watch this or any previous episodes again, go to the official website, 9msn.com.au forward slash rescue.